This used to be my bedroom, and this is now where the world's biggest pop collection now dwells. This wall, the wall you're on now, that's now 17 deep. Hey, my name's David Mevin, and I'm the new Guinness World Record holder for most Funko Pops owned by an individual. I'm gonna take you a little tour of my collection, maybe kind of explain how I got some of them along the way. As you can see, I've been an avid toy collector for 20, 25 years. And then around 2014, Funko Pop started showing up and it was an easy, natural transition. Just a few other Funko items. These are all my Funko sodas. These are my 18 inch Funko Pops, which I'm very proud of. These are all mine. I've been fortunate enough to get signed at cons and other things of the people that actually played the person in the pop or somewhere in that realm. And these are some, I guess, my most valuable pops, if you will. We'll, we'll talk about some more later, but my Joker bank robber, my white lady, my cons. What also makes them rare is the fact that they're worth less of those produced than any, and they're like in anything. That's what makes them worth more. Why do I love Funko Pops? Well, I guess it's because I love pop culture. And if there's anything that epitomizes pop culture, it's Funko Pops. Whether it be TV, movies, wrestling, sports, whatever, Funko covers it all, so I'm covered in one place. All right, I had a special arrival arrived just the other day that I've saved just for this moment. Oh yes, these are my original kiss sets. There's the Catman, the Star Child, the Spaceman, and the Demon. And I think they look great. Everybody, you're basically looking at the first pop I ever bought. This is Jason Voorhees, obviously, and he's movies genre number one. He's been around a while, and you can still get him, but obviously this one's very special to me because the little bloody macheted hockey mask wearing bloody guy is my favorite movie character of all time, and he is my favorite pop. All right, this is another one of my pops. This is from one of my favorite TV series of all time. I'm sure everybody's in a way. Sons of Anarchy, Jax Taylor. And this is one of my rarest, rarest pops. It is a 2014 Comic Con. And people really didn't even know what that is. And of course, this is the Reaper version that makes it rare. And this pop too is basically the first pop I ever bought that was non-horror movie. And got me into all pop genres. All right, here's another one of my 2014 cons is Jesse Pinkman beat up from Breaking Bad. Of course, everybody that watched Breaking Bad, I'm sure loved Breaking Bad. And so once I saw it, I loved the show. And then of course, once the pops came out, I had to have every one of the pops. And luckily to go along with Jesse Pinkman is my glow in the dark Walter White. It's also a 2014 comic con. And these are both, as you imagine, obviously very rare. And I'm very fortunate to own every Breaking Bad Pop. Alright, this is my White Lady Pop, and this is actually, according to the Pop Price Guide, my most valuable pop. It's a 2015 Toy Tokyo, and it glows in the dark. Anything makes a pop a little bit different than something else I'm really into, like the glow on this one. And this is what it looks like when she glows. Pretty cool. Alright, here's a multi-pop, as I can explain several things about. This is another reason I really love Pops, is this is one of my favorite movies of all time, Scarface. Anybody that grew up when I did has got to love Scarface. And it's the fact that they're going back and making older movies and older things is what really keeps me and gets me excited and keeps me looking forward to my Pops. Uh, this one in particular is under the ride category and has a different number, has a different genre of rides too. And obviously, Scarface is a movie, but the fact that it's the car and everything is what makes it a ride and one of my favorite pops. Here's yet another one of my favorite pops. It's the Joker bank robber from The Dark Knight, obviously because it's kind of rare, and the Joker from The Dark Knight is basically my favorite movie character of all time, and The Dark Knight is arguably the, my, my second favorite movie of all time. All right, here's another one. This is Shark Biting Quint. This is from Jaws, my favorite movie of all time. And obviously, as you can tell, it's a little bigger pop. It is not a ride, but it's shaped like a ride, and it's more of an action scene going on. So that makes it a little more of a pop, too, but the fact that it's Jaws makes it the coolest thing in my life. All right, here's another one of my pops. And as you can see, it is also Jason Voorhees, so you know why I love it so much. But it is the baghead Jason Voorhees, which makes it separate. And I was super, super fortunate enough to meet Steve Dash 
a couple of months before he passed and got him to sign this. So obviously there'll be no more Steve Dash sign pops. I'm proud of this one. All right, here we are. Here we are back to the horror genre and back to my 2014 Comic Con. This is Billy from Saw, Glow in the Dark, which makes her rare. I think it says even on the front, they only made 2,500. And he signed it on the front. I got it signed by Jigsaw himself, Tobin Bell. So that makes it too cool. This fob is very, very special to me too, because obviously, hey, it's from The Walking Dead which is arguably my favorite TV series of all time, and it's signed by the plot that played Herschel Green, Scott Wilson. I met him more than once at cons, and he was the nicest, nicest man, and unfortunately, he passed not too long ago, too, so he won't be signed more All right, I don't think Funko did it on purpose, but I do think the Funko figure that looks most like me, I guess, is Freddy Funko. If I had a little more hair, and of course, if, in this one, if I was carrying a dagger and had some blood on myself, I guess I'd look a little more like it, but I do think I would look better. like Okay, well, so everybody, I hope you enjoy this little slight walk through my, through my collection. I've enjoyed showing it to you for what I can, and I hope to talk to everybody in the future. Mm -hmm.